Between 1929 and 1974, the state of North Carolina had a eugenics program where they sterilized thousands of people without their consent. This is a really big issue. We've talked about it on the show before, and legislators are trying to figure out a way to, uh, I, I guess, get these victims some sort of payback, right? So it's really interesting because the House Republicans in North Carolina uh, propose that these victims get $50,000 because of what happened to them. However, uh, Senate Republicans are against it. So here's an example of one of the statements made by uh, Senator Don East. He says, I'm so sorry it happened, but throwing money don't change it. Don't make it go away. It still happened. First of all, please learn some English. Right. Like, I, I know I live in a glass house. You know, we speak all day long and we make mistakes, but really you, you're using the word don't in that sentence? You're a senator. You're a state senator. Yeah, well, you know, there was that recent study done that uh, actually United States congressmen speak at a, like a 10th grade level, I believe, and dropping fast. Mm -hmm. uh, I, there's some chance it was an 8th grade level. It was a couple of months ago, so it's, I, I don't remember exactly. But yeah, they're in disastrous shape. But, uh, but his logic is much worse than his grandma. Yeah, of course. Right? I know, I know. <laughs> right, so something terrible happened to you. Well, how, what good would it do to try to help you? A lot of good, yeah, yeah, yeah I, that would be great. Good, yeah. yeah, okay. Well, since that already happened, I mean, come on, don't fix it. <laughs> so nothing. Yeah. Well, what is that? What does that well, mean? That doesn't mean anything. That's the craziest thing I ever heard. No, it gets worse. Uh, Senator Austin Allran says, "I'm not so sure it would lay the issue at rest because if you start compensating people who have been victimized in past history, I don't know where that would end." Well, so what is he referring to? Is he referring to people who have ancestors that were slaves? Is he referring yes, to... Yes, that's what yeah. he's talking yeah. about. So that's yeah. what he's scared of. So he, he's, worried about, he's, worried of, he's worried about past history, by the way. Yeah. 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 Uh, most of history would yeah. be in the past, but... Oh, idiot. Okay. <laughs> so now look, by the way, they, they don't actually mean it in, if it applies to them. So the classic case of this is Rick Santorum says, you know, tort reform, uh, the max you should be able to sue for medical malpractice is $250,000. That's a law he proposes. His wife uh, has medical malpractice done onto her by a doctor for her back. He sues for five hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars because it doesn't apply to him. He just means I don't want other people to get that kind of money, right? And so in this case, I don't know how they would feel if it was done to them. I'm, my guess is they would want to be compensated, right? Yeah, but is, but they just basically they're going towards what? Well, look, we don't want to pay black people, and also, and what are we going to do? Next thing you know, we get compensated for slavery. Also, <laughs> slavery for whatever it's worth. Uh, that conversation, they're all dead. So you're talking about compensating descendants, which is a different issue. Totally 100%. different. These guys are still there. You gotta compensate them, and if not, they should sue, and you should pay each one of them half a million dollars, 10 times what this offer is right now. That's what I would like to happen in North Carolina. Yeah, and by the way. Except, of course, then they'd end up balancing the budget on the backs of people who had nothing to do with this instead of raising taxes. Right, and look, this is the way our country works, and for good reason. There's two ways that we handle things, which is criminal justice and civil justice. So if you commit an assault or something against somebody, we put you in jail, right? And then you can pursue civil uh, remedies as well. If someone does you wrong through negligence or on purpose, etc., you could sue them for compensation because you have been wrong. Sue. It's logical. Mm -hmm. That's the way you do it. And so do we compensate people who have been victimized? Yes! Yes, we have. Yes, there's that's a, called the American justice system. Right, there's a 230 year history of compensating people that way. Right, and just calm down. We're not going for slavery recompensation for, just, yeah, we just promised put your racism away for one second, okay? This isn't about that. Yeah, we ain't talking about no slavery, Don East. <laughs>